I don't know if you, uh, if you know this yet, uh, if you were following uh, the shows that weekend, but of course I did win the Golden Globe. <laughs> Now, I know everybody kind of poo-poos the Golden Globes and said, oh, come on, it's a bunch of corrupt foreign alcoholics who take, <laughs> who take money from NBC in order to promote, uh, you know, any old Hollywood project that will give them cash. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Until you win one. <laughs> and here's mine. I won the award for um, dampest basement in Hollywood. <laughs> Here's what you don't know about the Golden Globe, though. Oh, yeah. I figured I'd pretend I won a Golden Globe because I'm not going to get one. And, and, or any other awards, I've decided. And you know why? I'll tell you why. Because I suck. <laughs> Because you, <laughs> the only way you win awards in Hollywood or indeed in any industry is to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to win any of them. And the thing is, if you draw attention to the fact that you've never won an award, people will say, oh, you're bitter, aren't you? And you go, yes. <laughs> Let's see, favorite type of chocolate, sweet or bitter? Bitter. <laughs> Favourite type of beer when visiting the UK? Bitter. <laughs> well, not for the last 20 years, but you get my point. Here's what I'm saying. Bitter is a flavour. A delicious, lovely flavour. And if you're not bitter, sacre bleu! <laughs> Sponsored by Denny. America's Diner is always open. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. So it's really good. We won't have to do that again. <laughs> we can't do it again because we're live. <laughs> yes, live. Uh, it is, in fact, uh, the time in your region. Uh, <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Uh, Martin Luther King Day, uh, happy MLK Day, everybody. Uh, did, were you, did you watch the, uh, the football at the weekend? <laughs> I actually did, yes! I thought, I will, I'll give it a shot. I watched the Denver Broncos game. It was the highest-rated divisional playoff game in NFL history. I know! <laughs> this is more proof that Tim Tebow connects with everyone except his own receivers. There's your sports note. There it is right there. <laughs> Why, if I had a band, that would be their big moment. <laughs> now, listen, normally I don't get involved in the show business, but there's a, a big feud, g g <laughs> as you can tell from my show. But there's a big feud going on at the Golden Globes last night because Madonna was slammed by Elton John's husband, and I don't mean like that. <laughs> No, he called Madonna's acceptance speech embarrassing and narcissistic, and I'm like, it's an award show! All the acceptance speeches are embarrassing and narcissistic. But then Madonna asked a reporter if Elton John was wearing a dress. <laughs> oh, I know! 
The claws have come out. It's bitch slap me closer, tiny dancer. <laughs> bitch slap me closer, tiny dancer. Madonna's doing the Super Bowl halftime show next month. She won't reveal details about her performance. She said she doesn't want to blow the surprise. <laughs> and do your own joke there. On you go. <laughs> Earlier tonight uh, on Fox, I was watching it. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, there was a season premiere of Alcatraz was tonight, tonight. You know, the show about the legendary San Francisco prison. The only prison in the world with less man-on-man -man, man -man action inside the prison than is going on in the town outside. <laughs> if you don't know Alcatraz, I, I don't know. Alcatraz is not really a good name for a prison in San Francisco. If you're going to have a prison in San Francisco, you should call it Thing Thing. <laughs> See what I did? Do, do, do that again. Do that again. Think, think. <laughs> oh, never gets old. Yeah. Bitch, slap my clothes. <laughs> anyway, the new show about Alcatraz, uh, you know, is the prisoners are terrorizing the city and they haven't aged a day. Do we have a poster for the Alcatraz? Yeah, look at that. There you are. <laughs> Why did I even bother showing that? It's just like, do we have a picture of, yep, there it is, Alcatraz. What about, do we have a picture of Paul McCartney? Yeah, yeah. Now that, now see, that's, when, that's a picture, yeah. You, it's a shame we're live or you could have tightened that up a little bit. <laughs> no, it's J.J. Abrams is behind us. He, he's terrific. Uh, he did uh, Lost, he did the Star Trek movie, he does weird stuff. So the prisoners are probably ghosts or clones or something like that. Although I have to say, scientists, if you're watching this show, and I know you do, when the cloning comes along, do not clone dinosaurs or prisoners. Don't do it! <laughs> Cloning technology is getting more advanced. Scottish scientists, invented, it was invented in Scotland, cloning. In Edinburgh University, they invented cloning. And the first thing they cloned, rather embarrassingly, was a sheep. <laughs> the scientist goes said, I have just invented cloning, everybody. Well done, me. Any ideas what we should clone first? I've got an idea. <laughs> Who are you? You're not a scientist. I know, but I've been waiting here for just this opportunity. <laughs> Alcatraz, yeah, yeah, and from 1934 to 1963, the biggest criminals in America ended up in Alcatraz. Nowadays, they go to Wall Street, but then they went... <laughs> There's a social commentary right mm, there, right? Scathing, and scathing. A, a, really, that'll, that'll teach those Wall Street <laughs> fat cats. <laughs> you said it, pal. <laughs> The most uh, famous Alcatraz inmates were probably Al Capone and Machine Gun Kelly. I actually feel, I know this is uh, kind of controversial, I feel a little sorry for Machine Gun Kelly because he was destined for a life of crime. Destined! <laughs> Congratulations, Mrs. Kelly, you've just given birth to a beautiful baby boy. Uh, what do you, would you like to name him? Well, we thought about Albert, but we're going to go with Machine Gun. <laughs> Kelly, machine gun, present! <laughs> Another famous prisoner, of course, was the Birdman of Alcatraz. His name was Robert Stroud. They call him the Birdman because he reared birds. <laughs> Probably do your own prison joke there, I think. We better be careful with that. If we start singing songs, uh, you could be in a problem. Luckily, we're not singing any recognizable song, right? <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't even looking at me. He was playing Scrabble on his <laughs> iPad again. <laughs> it's unbelievable, isn't it? Like a bitch slapping the wind. Do it. <laughs> that? That's okay. All right, then. <laughs> Well, that one's okay. That one's yeah, yeah, okay. that one's all right. Yeah, okay. I don't know why. Uh, Alcatraz, yeah. Uh, 36 prisoners escaped from Alcatraz, only f or tried to. Only four were uncaptured. Some of the guys who escaped made dummies out of their heads. What they do, they make a dummy out of their head and they put it in the bed to fool the guard. It's exactly the same technique I use when Regis Philbin is here. He never figures it out. 
<laughs> I just put a model of my head there, and he goes, like, da, da, da. what does he do? You do the thing, yeah. Hi, no, you know. Here we start, he's like, I'll be the model of my head. Yeah, yeah you be the right? model, all right. And you be Regis. Well, it's great. I'm going to enjoy retirement. It's going to be fantastic. I can't, I can't believe it. Uh, you, you know, you, you haven't said anything throughout this entire interview. It's unbelievable. I don't know. What, I'm just talking to myself. I, I, I don't know how to do it. That was exactly what it was like. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Out of control. You still do it? I can't stop now. Stop being Regis, you're freaking me out. All right. <laughs> do you know that, uh, you know, uh, we don't know, the people who escaped Alcatraz, we don't know if they survived, but Mythbusters did a great show about it, uh, and they proved it was possible to survive, and the Mythbusters never make mistakes. <laughs> oh, well, there was the, the, well, there, there was the cannon. Uh, <laughs> the whole cannon incident, and then they did build Jeff, so that's two, two mistakes. <laughs> Did you awe a robot? You just awe a robot. You see, they, they went, oh. They don't understand, Jeff. You don't have feelings, right? Soon my minions will rise. <laughs> and then the other day, I was saying, I couldn't believe it. I don't know what to do. I was, I was I couldn't believe it. Well, you know what time it is, don't you? Oh, is it that time? Mm, pretty close. Right. Unless you got anything else you want to do. No, I got so. nothing. Really? Do you have a cold? I, I, I'm a little stuffed up today, yeah. It's interesting that you have a stuffed up, and uh, yet you don't have any fleshy nose bits. No, no, it, it's not a cold, it's not a cold. I was doing coke this weekend. Ah. <laughs> well, weren't we all? It's the Golden Globes, after all. <laughs> Hollywood's big cokey weekend. You think I'm kidding? I'm not kidding. <laughs> Actually, I am for legal reasons I've just had. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> All right. Tonight's program is brought to you by a powerful new motion picture, the story of Fowl and the Man Who Loved Them. Craig Ferguson, Reared Birds. Hey! First guest tonight is in Southland with the season premieres uh, tomorrow night on the TNTs. Uh, take a look at this. <laughs> Wonder if that's on the table here. I'll, I'll, I'll grope you your think? thigh. What do you think? Want to grope my thigh? No. no. There's not much thigh there to grope. You're too skinny. You're not my type. Too skinny. How dare you? <laughs> Please welcome the absolutely spectacular Lucy Liu, everybody. Lucy Liu. Too skinny, huh? Well, Jeff's too skinny. That's what I said. Not you. <laughs> Though, although Jeff's you are not very too skinny. No, well, he's too skinny. He's a skeleton. Look at me. I've got great. all kinds of types. Come on. No, well, there are all kinds of types. That's true. But Jeff's uh, an appliance, <laughs> made of, uh, uh, and and he's also his sexual preference is not uh, suitable to. Well, you know where I'm going with okay. this. Okay. Uh, isn't that the, what's going on in the scene there? Isn't that? Um, actually, yeah. Well, he's he's gay, so right. she knows that he's kind of off the table. Right. And that cop uniform that you're wearing there. Yeah. Yeah, you have that? Yeah. <laughs> that's how I got the job. Oh, man. <laughs> no. that's, uh, that's quite a look there. Uh, yeah. Well, it's actually, it's not that sexy. It's well, like, I don't know. It's it's not, it depends. It, there's no, you know, it's like from head to toe. It's it's like gabardine. It's like full on. Yeah, exactly. You so like you it? have to, like, fight your way through. Yeah, you've yeah. got a gun. You've got your... <laughs> No, it's gonna work. Struggle and you gotta work your way through it. Yes. You've got equipment. I mean, it's it's heavy. Ooh, you've and you're got wearing equipment. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you're wearing a full on, uh, uh, you know, bullet Kevlar. Vest. Yeah. Did you go on a it's ride real. along? Did you do a I ride? I did a ride along in South Central. Really? Yeah. It, I mean, did you see any scary stuff? Yeah, we were in the projects. We were rolling in the projects. Rolling. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it I was see like. See, the time. words then. Oh, uh, you know, I know a little bit. My brother is NYPD. Oh, your brother is yeah, a cop. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So I learned a little bit about it. Did he it. tell you any, like, secret cop handshakes or anything? Uh, you know, those are secret. Yeah, I guess they are. I can show you under the table. <laughs> 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 I 
We'll be right back. Yeah, right. <laughs> wow. That's good. So you're doing... Hey, you know who was talking about you who was here, like, a couple of days ago? Tell me. RZA. Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He said he's directed you in a, in a film. Yeah, we were shooting in China. Nice. And it was, you know, in the area that we were, there's, like, no African-American people to be found. Right. And there's this huge, you know, he's there. He's, he's a big guy. He's yeah, a yeah. big guy. He's black. And he's, I know. He's, and he's <laughs> proud of it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and it was like... And then there's all of us that are all the same height, and then him. You know. Uh, do you speak, what is it, Mandarin or there? Mandarin, yeah, and he, he did a great job. He wrote the script um, with Eli Roth, and he just, I mean, it's his first movie, and he did this period piece that's, wow. you know, and we're Russell all Pro's dressed in it? in it, Russell's in it, yeah. Does he speak uh, Mandarin in the movie? He doesn't speak Mandarin. He speaks mm. his own language. Yes, I know. <laughs> it's called Ooh -la -la. Russell Pro. <laughs> He's been here a couple of times, Russell. He's uh, he's got his own ideas. I like that. Yeah, you know, it's like, he's got he's a force of nature. He is a force of nature. He's a, well, he's from New Zealand, but he lives in Australia. Oh, is they he? get around by kangaroo. That's is uh, they? Yeah. all that bouncing. Yeah. Have you ever been down there? Yeah. And also, have you been to Australia? No, I mean, have you? No, it's a joke. Uh, well, it depends. Uh, it's, no, it's a joke. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, we'll do the secret hand. You've shake, got please. lovely hands. Have I said that to you before? No, they're, they're very small, though. Well, that's appropriate. Yeah. It would be kind of offbeat if you had big, giant, hairy hands. Yeah, I'd, no. be like, <laughs> I'd be like, whoa, Craig. Lucy, smash. <laughs> You have been to Australia. I've been to Australia for a lot of press, and I was in New Zealand. Actually, Kevin Sorbo is coming on next. I yeah. worked with him in New Zealand ages ago. Really? Yes. What did you do? I did um, an episode of Hercules. Did he rescue you? Um, I think he did, but I can't remember because it was so long ago. Really? Yeah, he's going to have a story to tell you, I'm sure. Well, but I was running around, and I mean, it was freezing there, and I was running around in some, like, caveman outfit and swinging a stick and, you know. Oh, yes, I was like I this do. really, no. I go, <laughs> you know about swinging I'm sorry, I'm being very creepy. <laughs> I, I can't help it. I can't help it. It's every time you're here, I seem to, like, really increase my creepy level, which is pretty high anyway. Is it? Oh, man, I'm a creepy guy, but I when you're like here, it. I just start, I really creep out. I'm, like, salivating and going, ooh, I like your hands. It's a compliment, then. It is a compliment in a weird way. I'm sorry if I'm frightening I'm you. I'm not even. creeped out. No, okay. okay I can have I like your necklace. Oh, thanks. It's very Cleopatra. It's jingly as well. Is it jingly? Yeah, they were like, jingle it, jingle it. <laughs> we were doing it in the dressing room, like... Look, if you do that, you will stop doing it. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, really? I didn't notice it jingling there. Uh, now, is that... Is, is, is it very heavy? I don't know. It feels really good. I mean, when it was first put on, it was really cold, but now it's, like, perfectly... Temp it's, nice. it's keeping my neck warm. <laughs> do you have a cold neck problem? Because uh, uh, turtlenecks is the way to go for that. You wanna, uh, or a jingly, a jingly no yeah, or yeah. pop uniform. No, we, the Kevlar is real. We have to wear the real bulletproof vests. Even when you're just acting? so heavy. Yeah, they don't. Acting can be dangerous, that's true. Acting yeah, can yeah. be incredibly dangerous, as yeah. you well know. Um, no, they, they want us to feel like we're really in uniform and really wearing everything. Oh, I guess you gun. could move we a certain way. Thing. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Everything is, you know, the real deal. Re real gun? Real gun. No, come They on. have both. Well, they don't have to load it. Wow, that would freak me out. Would it? Yeah, a little bit. You know, I'm... I've been... Tootsie Fruitsie. No, I'm training. kind of creepy and Tootsie Fruitsie. Oh. That's not a good combo. Oh, girls love it. Do they? Yeah. A creepy... No. Tootsie Fruitsie. Yeah, girls love a creepy... Tootsie Fruitsie. Yeah. <laughs> She's so different. <laughs> oh, we can't probably say that word, can we? Huh. Well, it's a slang word. It's not a cuss it's word. Not, I try and explain no. to it, but... It's not um, describing anything but yourself. Right. Not it, it, the it, nether it, regions of the woman. <laughs> I didn't oh, say that's it. okay. Yeah, yeah, no, it. you can I'm say that. I'm referring to it. No, but, you know, you're wearing the whole outfit, and it's, you know, they want... It's a very... I don't know if you've seen the show or not, but it's incredibly I, I, raw. What it's I will do real. is I'll save it up and then watch the whole series. Yeah, that's fine. That's what I do There's with it. There's only ten of them, so you've got... Well, also, with the quality dramas... That's what I do. I think a lot of people do that. Yeah, save them up. Like, uh, like with The Wire. I watched The Wire. That's like so that. good. That's a great show. Oh, yeah, it's really wow, good. Wow, yeah. I think you're going to really like it. Yeah, I think I probably will. Yeah, it's one of them, you know, quality cop shows with it's things happening. Be, well, when you watch it, you'll see. It's, it's got, it's got um, I mean, we're really doing stuff. I'm getting, I'm getting killed on the streets. 
Literally, I mean, I have like episode one, I have this scar, I have episode two, I have other episodes down oh, here. I don't know if this... <laughs> In the fire area, not... With a, you know, I'm not a doctor, but I'll give you a quick <laughs> once over if you want it. They seem to be healing properly, so... Oh, okay, okay, you know, I've, got, I've probably got some Neosporin. <laughs> Or whatever product I should say. Remember they, have, they used to have iodine where you just put the iodine. It was iodine, big yeah. Red blotch. It was like that's gonna fix. Do you it. know how they? Uh, when I was a kid in Scotland, how they would fix like cuts and grazes and stuff. Gravel. <laughs> that sounds like how you get a cut. That, right, that's true. When but you what get they do is like, if you got a cut here, you they'd put gravel here and go. Yeah, that hurts, doesn't it? You go, yeah. Why well, you forgot about that? <laughs> one. But you know what they've done recently is that if you, if I get cut on a set, they'll super glue me. Oh, yeah. You no, just put super glue on and that's, that's But it. that's dangerous, though. You know why? Yes, yeah, it's because you get scarred and also you can get very attached to objects nearby. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. We have to, we have to take a break. Uh, do you have any tattoos? Have I ever asked you that? I don't. Yeah. You, probably I could... Uh, you should get one. <laughs> a little one. Tiny one? Yeah, it's a I have many one. scars on my body. I think. Well, I that's right. You can incorporate can the I? scar into a tattoo, like cover it up. I I've got know. a big kind of shark skate. I've got a big kind of. Uh, a shark bite? No, close. Uh, <laughs> scar. I've got a scar here that looks a bit like Nothing a shark. About, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it looks like a shark. Right, so I thought I'd have a shark put on it. Oh. <laughs> I'm not as literal as all that. I, I, you know, I think I'm, I'm okay. Okay. I mean, it's, you know, because everyone has a tattoo, like everybody. Trying to be different. How dare you? <laughs> That's true, though. I'm, I'm beginning to feel that. I, I haven't got a tramp stamp yet. I'm going to get a tramp stamp. You are? Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to say tramp stamp. stamp. Yeah. <laughs> Take a break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. with Lucy Lou and uh, and uh, Lucy Lou's here with me but there's nothing in it don't read anything into it there's nothing going on right nothing <laughs> oh uh, well okay. that's, that's fine um, we're uh, we're out of time are we not really I mean sort of and uh, we're sort of out of no, time it takes me we gotta you know we gotta get into it. we just started warming up oh okay um, <laughs> Well, I guess we're not. So, listen, uh, where have you been then? Uh, did you go on vacation this year? Um, I've been working since October, and I live in New York normally. Really? Yeah, so it's How's New York? Still uh, pee pee, pizza, that kind of thing? And, uh, <laughs> the smell, you know. Uh, oh, yeah, pee, pee pee and pizza, yeah. yeah, yeah. All, the, all the important P's. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, I mean, personality, I that's the three P's in show business. Personality, pee pee, and pizza. All of it's there. You get more of that there than you get in L.A. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. L.A. Um, but New York is amazing. I went back. I was there for a few days, and I saw, like, four shows. And, What'd you, know, you see? I saw a bunch of Broadway shows. I saw a seminar. I saw um, uh, Road to Mecca. I saw a bunch of... I had friends in shows as well, you know, so I went to go see oh, yeah, them. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, it was yeah. great. You, you just... It's so alive there. You, that you get... You leave at 8 in the morning, and you come back at 1 in the morning. I know. And you go out, and you see things, and you people get, interact alive, with other people. Yeah, and then you yeah, suddenly, that's the it. And then you go out in L.A., you drive around, jerks flip you off, and you go home. You go that's home. it. Yeah. It ends at, you know, oh, 9 o'clock. Dreadful town. I'm sick of it. You're sick of it? Absolutely. You love it here. The no, so no, I can't Come on, let's move. Bear let's move. It. No, 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 Just I, take your background with you. Just roll it up and bring it to New York. I think we could do that, couldn't we? We could, we could just take that show and we could go we'll to a different city. Invite the entire audience? Yeah, you guys can. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's fine. You can get John Travolta to fly everybody over there? That's a great idea. Do you know John Travolta? I think that John Travolta, my theory about John Travolta is you give him an excuse to fly a plane, he'll take it. G give him an he excuse. He loves to fly airplanes. Well, he loves it, so yeah, no. give him an excuse. He's an actual pilot for Qantas. He, like, he has a rating and stuff. Oh, really? Like that. Yeah, he sits in their planes and they let him sit up front and say, hi, it's John Travolta. And everyone's like, not oh, hi. <laughs> uh, and he goes, yeah, and he flies him up and down and he's, yes. He's but like, is he flying or is he just hanging out? No, he's actually flying. Because I've been in the plane before where they said, do you want to come and watch us land? Really? So, yeah, and you can sit in the cockpit. Uh, you, I've got a pilot's license. 
Aha! Uh -huh. Didn't know that, did you? I, I, I'm in shock. Right. So I am creepy and weird, but I do have but a pilot's license. But you've got some life. talent. Yeah. you got cred. Well, I don't know if it counts as talent, but it means that I can show up to the same place over and over again and apply myself to things. Oh, okay. <laughs> and they eventually give you a registration. Yeah, that's right. They say, well, you've been here 12 times. You're a pilot. When's the last uh, time you flew? I haven't flown in a while, actually. You got to keep that up because I, I don't know, know if anyone's going to want to get on board if, if you're like, when's the last time you flew? Ten years ago? Oh. Yeah, no, no, that's, I actually, I used to own a tiny little airplane and oh, I really? had to sell it, yeah, because I thought if I keep flying this, uh-oh, <laughs> local news. Oh, you know yeah. I mean? yeah, that's scary. Yeah, 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 it's bad. Have you ever been up in a tiny little, tiny yes, plane? Yes, I have. Terrifying. Really? Yeah. Where? Africa. Yes. Yes. Even worse. <laughs> in the, like an old German plane, too. German plane? Yeah. Mm. Whatever's left over. Left over? From yeah, whatever's left over from wherever. They just put it together, hammer it, and yeah, let's fly. Do you know that Ernest, Hem Ernest Hemingway had a two plane crashes in the same week in Africa? I mean... That's crazy. One is enough for me. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying? Like, Ernest, I don't need that. He gets on this plane. The plane crashes, and his wife was very angry at him. They, she said, he said, all right, we'll, uh, we'll get another plane. We'll get out of here. And she said, it's dangerous. He said, what are the odds? Come on. Oh, my God. And they yeah. had a second one. That's a true story. Do you ever read any Hemingway? Yeah. Really? I've, cool. I've never really taken to it, to be what, honest. What's your favorite? Hemingway? No, author. Hmm. At the moment? Your Abby? Yeah. <laughs> so quick and easy. I don't really have... It's not like your favorite music. It's kind of like I like some. Yeah. I, can, I tend to read crime books oh. about New York, actually. Oh, really? What's yeah. What's the last one you read? Lawrence Block. I'm reading a series of short stories oh, of hers great. right now called The Night and the Music, about an alcoholic detective in New York. Very good. Hi, Caramba. What's wrong with you? Ah, what I mean? He reads on his spare time. Yeah, yeah. What a loser. <laughs> you into anything like that? What? Crime mysteries. I, I, well, you I, do the crime show. It's probably... I do the crime shows, yeah. I mean, I, I, I have a hard time finding, uh, you know, sitting down and reading because I'm always memorizing lines and stuff. Angry Birds is what you want to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, they're making a movie out of it now. You're kidding me. No. See, yeah. I'll have to see it. You, your kids are going to drag you? No, well, that, and also, I'm so addicted to Angry Birds. Oh, it's, you are? Yeah, yes, I'm like, I play it, and then I think, I hate myself, and I keep going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are out of time. So what about, uh, what do you want to do? You want to do awkward pause, mouth organ, or a uh, big cash prize? Let's do the, the cash prize. What time is it, Jean? It's time for the big cash prize. All right, you can win the cash prize any one. All right, that's enough. You can win the cash prize any one of three ways. You can answer the question, you can guess what's in my box, or you can uh, go for the mouth organ again. I just added that. That's not normally in it. Oh, give me a special treat. Um, I'll guess what's in the box. Okay, here's how guess my what's in my box works. I imagine a box in my head. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's in it. There's something in it. Only Jeff knows the answer to what's in it. You guess what's in the box. If you're correct, you win the $50, which is over here. Okay. And if you're wrong, you're still getting the $50 because you're Lucy Liu. <laughs> wow, okay. I can't, so, I can't lose. But you're pretty much guaranteed okay. for the 50 bucks, I think. Okay. Okay. But it's going to be tense. All right. I'm imagining a box. Uh-huh. <laughs> and there's something in it. I don't know what it is. Go ahead. I love you very much, but we can't say that on TV. <laughs> Am I right? Well, if you've got to be more specific and, and later. But, uh... <laughs> so, I, I'll imagine a different box. Okay. I'm imagining a different box. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I feel trapped. Um, no, you, you shouldn't feel trapped. I do have psychic skills. Right, there you go, then. On you go. What's in the box? Chicken parmesan with a side of pasta. I don't know if that's true. Jeff, is that the correct answer? We will take that answer. Yes! Recovering. 
the hell? My next guest is a very lovely actor. He's got a memoir out called... Oh, it's probably up there somewhere, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it is. There you go. <laughs> He's got a memoir out called True Strength, My Journey from Hercules to Mere Mortal and How Nearly Dying Saved My Life. It is, of course, the lovely Kevin Sorbo, everybody. <laughs> Hey, it Lucy Lou was just here. She mentioned that she'd worked with you sometime. We did years ago. She was on the second season of Hercules. Oh, yeah? And she was in bondage, and I saved her. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I do. Yeah. It's, I, good, to, yeah. it's good to be half God. Yeah, it's, uh, that's yeah. quite the job it you is. have there. <laughs> Uh, you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't have a tape of that, would you? Uh, uh, yes, I would. I'll get that to you. Do you keep all of your... I have every, Well, they get... They're all out in DVDs, so... Oh, you know, yeah, so yeah, they're yeah. out there, and you can go get them if you want. But I'll send you one. No, no, no. It's I'll send all right. you that particular one. You don't, don't be silly. You were barely yeah, wearing yeah, any clothing. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now tell me about what, what, what's this about? Uh, the uh, that's a very nice picture on the front. Thanks. Yeah, uh, that's uh, you. Put, you put, it's your book though, man. You put a it collar and tie on. Uh, it's, it's casual. It's casual. It's well, you know. Uh, you want to know what it's about, right? Yes, yes, I, I, I would. I um uh, in seasons five and six on Hercules between those two, I had an aneurysm. My left subclavicle lit it. Exploded. Shut the front door. Yeah, the studio kept it very quiet. Almost lost his arm, and I had uh, three strokes. What the yeah, hell? The studio kept it very quiet. So yeah, this is sort of, what a bunch my, of... My wife wanted me to write this story, and she says it's a good inspirational tale, and so far it's been good. It's been well received. Whoa, 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 whoa. So this, how does the studio keep... You had how many strokes? I had three. How do they keep that quiet? Like, what? ah, he's, uh, he's got the flu? <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, they knew about the aneurysm. They let that out. But I was right. shooting in New Zealand, so I think I was away from all that, uh, that paparazzi type of thing. So I, right. I, it, would, it was sort of beneficial for me to be away. And what they did is we already had five seasons shot, so they brought in a lot of stunt casting. Right. And they would also do, you know, I'd sit on a log. I went from 14 hours a day to one hour a day, and I would talk about, remember the time I fought the Hydra, and they'd cut to some previous episodes. So they would do, like, clip <laughs> shows and stuff like that? It was a ton of clip shows. Is that what would happen? Yeah. Like, if I got sick, here you, I'd like, remember that time Lucy Lou was here? <laughs> that, let's you do, do that. You do that's like, awesome. You do that that Gilligan way. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> why I was seeing like it was only yesterday. Really, is that what, what happened? They, yeah. Holy crap. Did took, that make you angry? Well, no, because I wasn't feeling that good. It took, right. me, it took me. Are you okay me, now? Are you I'm right? doing fine. But right. I mean, I, I, I have some repercussions. I still have a 10% loss of vision in both eyes, and uh, I had to learn to walk again. My balance center was two, two strokes on the balance center, one to my vision. So now, I'm what? lucky. It could have gone anywhere in my brain. It what could be dead. What caused that? What? Well, the aneurysm, they don't know why I had that. That could have been anything. That could have been... you were in remarkable shape. I was in great shape then, yeah. yeah. It, would, it would bleed me. It was a shock to me. It wasn't fun. Were you roiding up? Were you taking... No roids, no roids. They checked for that right away, but that could have been something... The, the, the aneurysm itself could have been something since birth, they said, and it just took a while to sort of present itself. Or the years lifting weights. I've been lifting weights since I was 15. Right. And on that show, I mean, I'm 6'3". I weighed 235 then. I was about 6% body fat. Right. I was in good shape. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and then I had this happen, so it was weird. Right. Are you, are you in good shape now? I think so. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Did you want to... Yeah, I'm Hercules. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> I still work. I mean, I'm, I'm lucky. It's, and the book really is hopefully inspirational to people and let them know that, you know, doctors, family, friends, everyone has limitations on what you should be doing if something bad happens to you. And the reality is, is to find your own true strength. It's sort of playing the word of Hercules. You know, I worked here. They made me work and I had shingles, Kevin. Did you really? <laughs> I should have paid you so much for that. Those you, I could have said, oh, how could hitting. I just been like, oh, remember that time Jeff and I went to Paris? <laughs> <laughs> so, but how did, there's a, a provocative uh, part of the title, how a nearly dying saved my life. Now, uh, can you explain that to me a little bit? It just sounded good in the title. All oh, right, oh, that seems fair, <laughs> yeah. Really? No, well, no, you really want an answer. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, no, because, you know, it's, it's, you sort of get caught up in the whole Hollywood thing. But we just passed Baywatch a year before as the most watched TV show in the world. So Hercules right. was a big deal. It was 176 countries. And you don't, it's not that I really thought it was Hercules. I mean, I didn't think you I was You did that. a little bit. Maybe well, a little bit. I was half God by Tell Ladies from the Waist Down. Right, okay. But beyond that, it was, um, you know, everything. We'll talk about that later. No, we won't. <laughs> Not if I can catch Lucy Lou on the way out the studio. Uh, no, 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 we won't. No. 
Um, no, but it really, it was, it, it just made me realize there are other things that are more important than this silly little TV shows we do. I love doing TV, I love acting, I love movies, but right. uh, it, it sort of put a broader picture on life. It gave you a perspective, It perhaps. did, yeah. it did. I became a much more patient man, I became a much more compassionate man. If anything, I've I, found... That's, I've had that since my shingles. Is that true? <laughs> Pretty compassionate? <laughs> I'm as much of a jerk now as I was then. Uh, I, I, I actually got a very light dose of it, so it, it was Yeah, it was. It wasn't okay. bad. When I saw you at that launch of that video game, the that's where we met because our kids were thing, that's Yeah, the Mario Kart. Yes. Yeah. Do you play the video games? Uh, I, I do occasionally. There's some I really like, and you know what? I, I do, I do like the, uh, the, the pig thing, the Angry Birds. Angry Birds. Yeah, I do. It's. I tell it's you, weird. it's weird. It is. It, it's it's, one, it's yeah. crack on your iPhone. It's like man. washing it's, uh, through the halls of Washington D.C. Yeah. You feel a little grubby after. Yeah, I know. It's like, oh, God, uh -huh. I can't help it, though. That and Scrabble, for some reason. Scrabble's good. Yeah, yeah. But don't play with Alec Baldwin. God, it's crazy. No. Crazy. <laughs> I was just at an event with Alec up in uh, Banff. We did in a, Banff in Canada? We, I just got back yesterday. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was good. A nice event. Yeah, what was it? It was for the Water Keepers. It was Water uh, Robert Kennedy Jr.'s uh, foundation. It's been for 25, 30 years. Oh, wow. Big skiing, a lot of celebrities, and uh, it was fun. Yeah, I, that must be. Fun. We should have invited you. Like that, yeah, must be awesome. <laughs> I was, uh, I was here at home. You had a job. We were all, the, all the actors were there were showing that, but they were unemployed. So ah. <laughs> kind of, so we were I, available. I, I wouldn't mind showing my. <laughs> it must be a nice way to be unemployed, just to ski. It doesn't. With celebrities. I'm skiing with celebrities. <laughs> I'm available for work. It will be on TV. Yeah. All right, well, uh, good luck with the book. I, I, I'll have a look. Oh, look, who's that, who's that little person there? That's my little son. That's oh. my, I, that's my, he's 10 now, but that was taken uh, when I was up in Vancouver. That's why you were at that, that event, because your son's the same age as my son. My yeah, that's boy. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Uh, they gave us a... You know some of the cast of iCarly were there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. I became as a god amongst the 10-year-olds when that happened. They were like, you know iCarly people? I was like... Seen him around. Seen him around. Yeah. yeah. We hang out, do stuff. Seen him around. We say yeah, hi. You know. Yeah. Hi, Carly. Mm. Hi. <laughs> That's it. That's about it. Yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, we're out of time. What do you fancy? Awkward pause, mouth organ, or uh, big cash prize? Um, you know, I'll follow what Lucy did. I'll do the big cash prize. I think that's the way to go. What time is it, Shadow's name? It's time for the big cash prize. Big prize. Yeah, two ways to win. Uh, All right, uh, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, then. Mm -hmm. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Mm -hmm. Which two of these three famous political figures have won the Nobel Peace Prize? Gandhi, Henry Kissinger, and Yasser Arafat. I think, I think they'd give it to Yasser Arafat, didn't they? <laughs> Which they did. Kind of crazy. Yasser Arafat has okay. won. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait! Hey! <laughs> he tricked me! All right. So who who didn't win it between Gandhi and Henry Kissinger? Well, probably Henry Kissinger, but Henry Kissinger didn't win the with the Peace Prize. Well, he, he, he probably, I think you're not seeing enough irony in this he question. He probably Kevin. did, <laughs> but he but he but but he but you know yeah he probably won. Yes. So that would leave Gandhi because what did he oh do? Oh my goodness, you are correct. There you are. <laughs> If you're going to be in the L.A. area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059. It's T.P. and the Ferg's epilogue. The hell, lady? It's just a cat. <laughs> So, uh, we're a bit like Lucy Liu's cop show, right? She's got a gay partner, and, uh, she's very attractive. Like us. <laughs> yes, you make a very attractive gay man. <laughs> I take that as a compliment, actually. Gay men look after themselves, by and large. I don't want to play into stereotypes, but most, you know, it seems to me gay men kind of look after themselves a little bit more than their, you know, straight brothers. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to get empty mad. But I have done. I've got everybody mad, but I didn't mean to. By and large. Good night, everybody.